guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some more Spring Boot annotations interview questions. So let's get started. Please like, share and subscribe to support us and we are setting a like target of 500 likes. So this part is going to cover the basic interview question that is, what all type of annotations have you used in your project? So the way to start answering this question is that very common annotation that we have used, all of us have used in our project is at the rate Spring Boot annotation. This at the rate Spring Boot annotation is comprising of three another annotations. All the three and the internal working, everything is covered in the previous video, the part one of this video. The link will be given in the description below. Now we will start with the second most important annotation that we have used in our project. So be it you, be it anybody in this world, if they have Spring and Spring Boot application, most of us must have used at the rate auto-wired annotation to auto-wire your service in controller, your repository in service and so on. So, Etherate Auto-Wired is a way to implement dependency injection in a Spring project or a Spring Boot project. So, Spring Boot project by default internally also uses many of the Spring frameworks annotations only for auto configurations or external configurations. To implement a dependency injection, we use Etherate Auto-Wired. To give it as an example, you can always go in your controller, you must have your service auto-wired. And in your service, you must have your repository auto-wired from where you get your data. So this is the basic use of auto at the rate auto-wired. And if now if they ask you to showcase that you are internally able to inject the real dependency in one bean from another bean, how will you show that? In your employee class, what you can create is another address. I don't want it to be added to my database, so I've made it transient. This is a way to stop any of your feed getting mapped to your tables. So I'm using transient here and I'm auto-wiring the address field in my employee class. In the address field, I have initiated my PIN code as 12345 and country by default is India. Now on the startup, if you want to showcase the auto wiring, you can initially you, you will have just the spring application dot run. This particular run method returns to the configuration application context. From that application context, you can get bean whose name is employee. Where will you get this employee? By default, since you have not given any name to this bean, the by default name of this bean created with at the rate component will be employee with e small. So to fetch that, this is the way to fetch any bean in spring. With e small, that will be your bean name. So when your application is started successfully, then internally it will call this get bean method to print your employee. So initially you have not initialized anything for employee, so these two things will be null. But this address has some things already initialized, that is pin code in India. So when you try to run this application, you will see India and 12345 is pin code. So let's run this and see. Are we able to get our things that is auto-wired? Great, yes. When our application has started successfully, the get bean method is called and it goes into spring container search for any bean named of employee with e small e. The class employee has overridden two string method and hence you are capable enough to print your address with pin code 12345 and country as India. So this is the beauty of auto wiring. Here in employee, we have auto wired our address. Here address is also a component and we have some values initialized to it. So this is the way to implement dependency injection in Spring or Spring Boot application. Container will provide the required bean. So the bean required here was address. And who requires it? The dependent bean that is employee. Employee is the dependent bean. Here employee needed address object. If address object is not resolved, employee bean will not be created. And hence, the container will provide the address bean to employee bean at runtime. So what is the way to annotate it? The spring provides annotation based auto wiring. By providing it the right auto-wired annotation. It is used to auto-wire spring beans on setter methods, instance variables and constructors. So at the right auto-wire is not just the property level or variable level annotation, but also the setter method level annotation and constructor level annotation. When you use at the rate auto wire annotation, the spring container auto wires the bean by matching its data type. So this is by default auto-wiring by type. There are four types of auto-wiring. 
which can be done through XML configurations, but in annotation based only by type auto wiring is allowed. The second most important thing is at the rate component. Now our container knows how to inject dependency of one bean into another. But how will the container know how to create a bean at the first place? It should, so it should first need to create beans during the startup so that it can provide the beans at the later stage. What if I just remove at the rate component from here and now let's try to run it. It gives me an exception. Consider defining a bean of type address in your configurations. That means we have not defined this address as a bean in container. If it is not defined as a bean, it will not be able to create the bean of employee because it, it is dependent on address because it is auto wired. So until address bean is not created, employee's bean will not be cleared, created. Hence, it first needs to create the bean at the startup only so that it can provide the bean of address at the later stage to employee bean. So, how will container know which pojo to be created as bean and whom to be ignored? So, all those who are annotated with some component will be considered as eligible class to be created as a bean in spring container and all those who are not the components will be ignored and will not be created as a bean in the container. And if you try to auto wire or inject the dependency of such bean into any existing bean, even that bean is not created and you will get an exception that go create a bean first and then try to inject it into somebody else. So this is how container knows which pojo to be considered as bean and which is to be ignored. At the rate component is a class level annotation. It is used to mark Java class as a bean. A Java class annotated with Etheric component is found during the class path. The Spring framework picks it up, configures it in the application context as a Spring Bean. So this is a task of Spring to pick it and configure it as a Spring Bean. It is a generic stereotype for all the Spring managed components and the specializations are Etheric controller, Etheric service and Etheric repository. Now this is a generic stereotype but it has some specializations also. So these specializations are for the presentation layer, for the business layer and for the DAO layer. So that was all about at the rate component. Now let's see their specifications. What is at the rate controller? Now again at the rate controller is a class level annotation and it is a specialization of component. Now the interview will ask you why it is a specialization. It is a specialization of at the rate component because if you try to go and enter into your controller stereotype, ORG Spring Framework stereotype controller, then you can see it is a component internally because by default it is a annotation at the rate controller. Internally, this annotation at the rate controller is annotated with at the rate component also. And hence a controller is said to be a specialization of component. So this at the rate controller marks a class as a web request handler. A web request handler is a class which is capable enough to accept your HTTP request and give a response back to your client which is requesting some resource from your server. To mark that class as a web request handler, you need a annotation to make it first. So that annotation is at the rate controller. It is often used to serve the web pages. It is used in conjunction with at the rate request mapping annotations. That is an annotation which is both the class level and method level. We will see that in few minutes. We also use at the rate REST controller in our REST APIs when we need to send a response in JSON format directly to the client. By default, at the rate controller returns you a string that indicates which route to be redirected and hence it is mostly used with JSPs. So when you hit a particular link, internally you hit a controller to get the data or get the page and then it returns you with some string which is a basic route where you will find the next JSP that is to be shown on the front end on click of that button or a link. So it returns a new URL to the JSP page where it has to be redirected. That is at the rate controller. So it's a very specialized form of at the rate component annotations for certain situations. So to make a class as a controller, you have to use at the rate controller, which is more readable and appropriate. Now, since it is a specialization of at the rate component, can we replace at the rate controller with at the rate component? Let's see it here first. 
this was our employee controller we have marked it as at the rate trace controller considered it as at the rate controller only just that we are sending the response in the json format that is why we have done that so let's try to run it so address is injected now i'm going to hit the get all api and see if i get my response so yes i get my response my id is 1 quote id is 2 decode address is null because we have made it transient so it's not mapped to any column or values in database now for this to work we have annotated it with at the rate rest controller and the get mapping over a method now if it is a specialization of at the rate component only can we replace at the rate controller with at the rate component will the bean be created answer is yes a bean will be created but what will not be done so at the rate controller does two things internally firstly it declares this class as a spring bean and should be created and maintained by spring application context why is it done because at the rate controller internally is annotated with at the rate component i've shown you that here right at the rate controller is annotated with at the rate component and at the rate component forces a container to create it as a bean in the container so it declares this class as a bean so what second important thing it does is it indicates that it is a controller in mvc that means it is used by web specific tools and functionalities what main functionality it does it basically looks for request mappings that are annotated using at the rate controller but it will not be done with the at the rate component so dispatcher servlet will not do its task when you replace your controller with at the rate component so let me go ahead and let me try that Currently, we have seen that we were getting a response properly with at slash all. Now, if I try to remove this annotation and make it at the rate component and restart my application because it is configuration changes, we need to restart. It will create a bean. That is not a problem. But will you be able to hit this particular API? Answer should be no because there is no at the rate controller. Though a bean will be created. Any of the methods inside this will not be considered as a REST API endpoints because it, this class which is annotated with component will not behave as a controller. Though what, whatsoever name you write, the notion for Spring Container to know this is a controller is through annotations. And the annotation is a generic annotation and not a specific annotation REST controller or the controller. And hence it will not consider this class as the controller at all. So if you try to hit it, you will see not found. This path is not found. Though this path is already available, this get mapping with slash all is already present. So this get mapping with slash all is present, but still it says not found. Why? Because the base class is not a controller and Spring doesn't consider it as a eligible class to handle your HTTP request. Hence, the at the rate component and controllers are same with respect to bean creation. Both will create a bean for you. But at the rate controller is a specialized format of at the rate component. Even if you replace it with component, Spring can automatically detect and register, but it will not work as you expect a controller to work with respect to your REST API calls. Now, sec second important thing, what is at the rate service? Also, this is how we have used at the rate service on our services. That is the business logic implementations. This is a class level Annotation, yes, we have used it over the class. It is a specialized of a specialization of component. How will you prove it is a specialization of component or internally it is a component? By navigating to it, you can see this is ORG Spring Framework Stereotype Service. Go into it and you will see this annotation is again annotated with at the rate component also. So internally service is also a component. Everything that the component can do, a service can also do but some extra things a service can also do so it tells spring that the class contains the business logic nothing much the service do at the end the main task of this annotation is to mark the class capable to become a bean in spring container similar to component we can use at the rate component also and it will work the same as this annotation they are technically the same so if you have annotated anything with at the rate service you can auto wire this service in your controller so this is how i have auto wired service in the controller if i do not mark it as at the rate service it will not be able to auto wire it and it will give you an exception let's see what exception it gives we got an exception 
consider defining a bean employee service in your configurations otherwise you will not be able to auto wire it in your controller so the field in controller requires a bean of type service that could not be found at all because you have removed at the rate service from it and that's it the rate service next is at the rate repository again it is a class level annotation it is a specialization of component. Is the at the rate repository specialization of component? It will be if this at the rate repository annotations internal class in Spring will have annotation at the rate component over it. Let's go and see. This is a stereotype. And yes, at the rate repository is annotated with at the rate component. And hence, repository is also kind of specialized component. The repository is a data access object that accesses the database directly. The repository does all the operations related to database. So everything you need to get the data for database, your methods will be done in this particular repository. Here also, since it is a specialization of component, we can use a component instead. But it is always a good idea to choose the annotation based on your layer conventions. What is the layer convention? How many layers our application have? The three basic layers. Controller layer, business layer and DAO layer. So always choose the annotation based on these layers. If it is controller, use at the rate controller or rest controller. If it is service, use at the rate service. If it is DAO layer, use at the rate repository. Because in typical applications, we have distinct layers like data access, that is DAO, presentation, that is controller and service layer or the business layer. Here also, by using a specialized annotation, we hit two birds with one stone. What are these two birds? First, they are treated as a spring bean. So since it is annotated with at the rate component, a bean field surely will be created. And secondly, you put special behavior required by that layer. What is that special behavior? So, at the rate repository not only helps in creating the bean, but also catch platform specific exceptions. So, we also know that repository deals with databases and databases throws the database exception, JDBC exceptions. Now, the task of this at the rate repository is to re-throw them as Spring's unified unchecked exception. So, you should know that Spring is the one who throws you unchecked exceptions and closes your application then and there where there's an exception. So, at the rate repository's task is to re-throw the platform specific exceptions, that is JDBC or whatever the underlying database you're using, as the Spring's unified unchecked exception. So, even that has some important thing to do. So, now I have few more points to be covered. I have component scans. How do we scan a component? What is at the rate been? Many, many more. Uh, annotations I have to cover. If you want me to cover more such annotations, just let me know in the comment section. Thank you.